So you can see those three plays especially are very explosive. Here's another opportunity to try to hit that halfback inside zone to the outside, which is like I said, that's what I was trying to do on the original play. As you can see, he seals that edge, and a lot of times you're just peeling this off to the left, and I actually, you know, if it wasn't for that tiptoe animation, I might have been gone. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you guys today out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. This particular playbook here, I've already put out a ton of stuff on it. I've even put out a full breakdown on it, but it was way early in the year, so I'm sure a lot of the stuff has changed uh, since I originally put that out. But I will definitely put links in the description for all the offensive schemes that I put out so far. The split close, uh, the pistol bunch TE. Um, you know, if you're trying to catch up on this book, the trips halfback week, I put out a lot of gameplay in this stuff as well. This is my personal favorite playbook that I'm using right now. The formation I'm going to concern myself with today is going to be the single back wing pair. It's one of the better running formations in the game in my opinion. I've already put out some plays from I think it was the Steelers or the Saints out of this particular formation. The, the, the Buccaneers have a very good series of plays run and pass as well out of this. I just put out single back ace. I'll also have a link in the description for that. That's also a very good run scheme. These are probably my two favorite running schemes. As far as the single back wing pair goes, I'm going to put out uh, mostly run plays in today's video but if you want to see a full breakdown of this um, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because there's a ton of really good passing plays as well uh, that I'll probably have on just my Patreon for now uh, or my Join Now community tab. For now let's start off with the running plays couple of really good run plays the 0-1 trap right there off the top that's not necessarily the best one to me the best one's probably between the halfback inside zone which i'm definitely going to put on uh we have a lot of the plays already in here that's one of the things like the counter weeks definitely a play that should be in the top four top five uh which is one of the things that makes this, this formation so good there's so many run plays uh the dive alert smoke and the stretch alert looky are both already in it and then the fifth play would probably be between the 24 zone open and the 0-1 trap but i'm going to say the 0-1 trap would probably my favorite so that's going to be the five run plays that go over today uh and then obviously if i have time i'll probably put a pass play towards the end there's definitely some good ones like the pa scene specifically uh, but i'll save a lot of pass plays for my patreon and stuff like that for my join out community tab so fifth play is going to be the old one trap now before i get into this video as always if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order as well as supporting this channel every time you buy from them with that discount code you help me out big time so i really appreciate that you guys show me a lot of support other than that we're gonna get into the reads here now this first play that's one of the reasons that i love this defensive formation it's a complete glitch when it comes to what it does to the defense you can see based off the fact that there's three tight ends and there's such an off alignment on the formation a lot of times it forcefully forces the defenses um, to auto shift which is something that uh, i can I, if i show you right now i mean i can make that auto shift go away simply by evening out the formation and then this is typically the formation you're going to see not a ton of people are really going to know how to uh, get that shift back the way they want depending on the level of you know you can base the line and stuff like that to fix it but most people either don't know how to do that or, or a lot of people don't know how to do that or they won't have time so you really have the ability to control your defensive the, your opponent's defensive formation which is obviously going to be key that's one of the reasons i think that the halfback inside zone is one of the best ones this is essentially like a short stretch to the left side or at least that's how i'm going to treat it as you can see right here i'm going to go ahead i'm going to flip to that and i'm typically going to try to take it outside that linebacker actually did a pretty good job of cutting that off but that's typically going to be the plan so even though it didn't work out that's typically the plan you have that ability a lot um, on this next play here i mean there's a couple different ways i could go i could go with the counter play if i'm going to go with the counter play i want to flip it with the right stick and aim for that gap that's typically going to be um, as you can see right there we just create a hellacious hole on the very next play anytime you have a hole across the formation especially when it's like uh, i mean here maybe not because you have three cornerbacks backing it up i could easily go with this uh halfback stretch and just try to take it outside although i think i hit the wrong button but um anytime you have a uh, a hole like that you really can just flip this and try to aim for it and like right here i think this is a big enough hole on the left side i could get away from those cornerbacks i could also try to run it but ultimately once again the halfback inside zone is going to make the most sense so let's go and let's do that like i said this here you get a double team right at the point of attack there a lot and then you can see we have some very explosive runs so that's the thing about this formation, like I said, you have an amazing blocking advantage on one side, but it also pulls 
muscle formation off alignment a lot of times and people don't have the ability to set up their run defense to set up their gap controls the way that they would like to so here's another play i mean i go with the 0-1 trap based on the fact that it's spread enough i mean this is a good enough spread that i could i could try to make that happen it looks like we have a man blitz or something like that since he followed but ultimately like i said anytime you have spread formations i mean look how big that hole is you could drive a truck through that hole i mean that's just insanely easy like i said the only thing i don't like about that is it does take a little bit of time for you for that motion to happen and a lot of times your opponent will pick up on that and they will try to uh, try to shoot a gap or something like that that's about the only thing i could say that it gives that oh one trap issues uh, but there are past plays that play off of that like i said i'll have uh, in my patreon and on my join out community tab so it's not you know it's not a given guarantee that it's going to be a run play so here's another opportunity going for that counter like i said you have that gap like i said they're was well, a little bit tight, but you can see I got through it. I didn't quite get the Halasis hole I was expecting. So this play here, I could go with any number of plays here. The halfback inside zone or the 0-1 trap. The 0-1 trap to me uh, is probably going to be the more explosive of the two. And it goes right over the, the gap where the alignment is, is off and missing. Uh, but like I said, it's really hard to say. I might have been able to get more with the halfback inside. Those are probably the two best plays. This 0-1 trap, by the way, is not in a lot of playbooks. I think it's only in a couple playbooks, uh, which is one of the reasons it's, it's, you know, the Tampa Bay playbook is so good when it comes to offensive plays. Here's another opportunity, counter weak. All I got to do is switch to that, flip it, you know what I'm saying? Hit the right stick to the right, and I, you know, you can't flip the formation necessarily, uh, but you can see there's a lot of space outside here. As we get an easy 10-yard run, I actually kind of ran that poor, or I probably would have got more. So you can see those three plays especially are very explosive. Here's another opportunity to try to hit that halfback inside zone to the outside, which is like I said, that's what I was trying to do on the original play. As you can see, he seals that edge, and a lot of times you're just peeling this off to the left, and I actually, you know, if it wasn't for that tiptoe animation i might have been gone now here's a good opportunity based off the fact that we have a packed box i mean this is very simple the hat back inside zone is not going to work the dive is it's not going to work. The the counter is not going to work. There's, you need spacing for that. You need spacing for the Owen trap. So this is something we are definitely going to want to go with the stretch alert looking and try to take it outside. Stretch alert look is going to be best against these pack boxes or against uh, cover three, cover four zone. The stretch is going to be best. I use this play a lot in goal line. When people like to man up in goal line, a lot of times um, the X route's a perfect play against uh, any man defense. But ultimately, you know, this is a play I'm just going to want to take outside. You can see when we have, you know, there's nothing. As long as you make the right reads, all these plays will have success now i'm going to go ahead and show one passing play there's a lot of good passing plays in this, form, in this particular formation but i'm going to show one that works against just about all of them and that's the pa seam so let's go and let's pick that now if you're going to run this particular play uh like this where you motion this guy in like i said you don't have to do that but if you're going to you probably want to make sure um, that you uh, motion this guy in from time to time during the run plays because that will make it a little less obvious. Uh, but you can see, I mean, the way that this pulls apart the coverage is just, it's an insane amount of separation. It's an easy throw. Now, I wish I would have put Howard at, uh, based on the fact he's much faster at uh, Gronkowski's spot. He'll be, he'll get open much more. But ultimately, you know, this is this is pretty much the look. I mean, you got that check down B route there. That's obviously a good, uh, you know, a, a good option uh, against man or zone. And then you're really, when it comes to the zone coverages, you're really just kind of kind of reading. Um, you know, you can change this around too. I, mean, I can put the B route on a streak. It doesn't really matter. But you can ultimately, you know run it like this you have that comeback route uh which is obviously you know a good route i mean there's just so many plays here to be made across whether it's the comeback route or the dragging receiver or whatever um there's a lot of really good plays to be made but like i said i, I like to have this guy on a streak motion him in um, i find i have enough faith uh, in those tight ends that uh, they will make the, the plays necessary. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see uh, more, uh, you know, the passing plays to go with this, because I do have quite a few, hit the like button and let me know in the, in the comment section. I plan on putting some of this stuff out when I go to Florida uh, in the middle of April. So that, that entire week I'm going to have like these things pre-recorded um, for you guys. So that's a perfect opportunity for that. So hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.